Here in After Effects, I'm going to take my footage and drag it onto a new composition. From here, I want to create an overlay, but I also want to remove this camera mount. So to begin, I'm going to go over to my VR Comp Editor and press Add 2D Edit. Make sure you have your right composition selected and choose Add 2D Edit. From here, I can hit letter C on my keyboard, like Charlie, and position my camera so I can see this mount. From here, I'm going to grab my rubber stamper tool and double click on my footage, press my Alt key to sample a region, and I can start removing this mount. This is a quick and fairly effective way to remove this mount. However, it's not as perfect as using Mocha uh, VR tools or even the Content Aware Fill tool here in After Effects, but it does the trick. And many times it can actually be pretty flawless. Once I'm done with that, don't move the camera anymore, but go back to your composition and it's removed. Again, don't move your camera because it'll mess up the work you just did. Go back to the VR Comp Editor and you can press Open Output Render and you'll see that the camera is now gone and it's gone through all the footage. One quick tip, when you do this, make sure that your CTI is at the beginning or your clone stamps won't show up at the right place. In this case, my clone stamp is through persistent throughout the, all the footage, which is what I want. If your CTI starts at one second when you start doing this clone stamping, you're not going to have any of the clone stamping before one second. So that looks pretty good. I want to add another edit here. I want to go ahead and add the overlay on this. So I'm going to go back to my VR Comp Editor. I'm going to press Add 3D Edit this time because I'm going to use a 3D camera tracker to add that overlay. Make sure you have your selection of your composition and choose Add 3D Edit. Go ahead and hit letter C and you can move this around. I'm going to move this so this camera mount is not in, in, in view. And don't worry about that camera mount. It is not going to show up in the output because we fixed it in the Edit 1. Now in here I need a 3D camera track this, but the first thing I need to do is I want to just be tracking this section right here, not the outside of the plane. If I track all the footage, I'm going to have some bad tracking points that are mostly going to be on the outside of the plane and not on the inside in the cockpit, which is where I want. So I'm going to take this composition down here and I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to take this new composition here and I'm going to use the pen tool to mask out the region that I care about. In fact, if I were to hide the background layer, you'll see that that's all I have. Now I want to add a 3D camera tracker effect on here, but 3D camera tracker effect doesn't work on masks. So I'm going to select this layer and hit Control shift c which will let me pre-compose this layer. I'll just call this pre-comp footage. Make sure Move All Attributes is selected and hit OK. Now the next thing to do would be to go ahead and add this effect through Properties. The problem is you get a ghost 2D, uh, 3D edit in here that's kind of a problem, so we don't want to use this. It's going to cause problems, so I'm going to manually apply my 3D camera tracker. I push Track Camera and now it's tracking this footage, just the inside. While I wait for this to process, I'm going to go back to my project panel. I'm going to double click to import and I'm going to locate a file that I created called aux target overlay. This is an illustrator file with layers that I can animate. Make sure composition and layer size is selected and I'll hit OK. I'm going to take this overlay and eventually I'm going to stick it down on top of these other layers and it's going to track my scene. If I go look at my output targets here, this tracker is currently tracking the scene and you can see all these overlays. Looks pretty freaking nice. I'm going to go ahead and press create camera and now I need to tie these two cameras together. So I go back to my VR comp editor and in here one of these two is going to let me do that. So I'm going to push this one and I'm going to push apply 3D camera tracker. No, I already did that, right? Now I'm going to push the track scene button. That's going to tie the two cameras together. If you get this message that says it can't do it, whatever, it needs to add another thing, you pick the wrong one. So I'm going to cancel out of that. That I'm going to pick this other one instead. Properties, track scene, and now those two cameras have been tracked together beautifully. Look at that. Gorgeous. Now select the, that uh, target right there. Right click and see create text. When I play this back, it's tracking with the text beautifully. I'm going to go ahead and show the background layer and you can see that's tracking really nice. I'm going to bring in my aux graphic here on top and I'm going to turn on the 3D switch because that's something you got to do. 
I'm going to take this text, I'm going to open up this text layer, and I'm going to steal the properties. In fact, I'm going to go to the transform controls, I'm going to steal position and shift click on scale, copy those. You can also choose orientation, but in fact, eh, maybe I do want to choose orientation. So I'll select that aux again there, and paste that. You see that changes the orientation. It's making it look like the text. And if you don't like that, that's not a problem. We can easily fix that. So for example, I can S for scale. I can bring that down to a size that I like. I can hit R for rotation. I can rotate that. And now to put it in its position where I want it to be, I can hit A for anchor point. Don't mess with position because position is currently putting it in the scene and tracking it so it looks appropriate. Now in Play this back. This will track beautifully to the scene. And there you have it. When you're done, you're going to push the open output render button, and your graphic will track right within the scene. This is what you render. Add allow for grain pressures. Add allow for grain pressures. Get flipped.